Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 16th going to the 22nd of August. Um, I'm going to go straight into the channeled messages for you guys and for the water signs it wasn't too bad. This week actually feels like we're finally able to be free. Um, for a lot of you there is a sense of freedom coming in for you guys, the fact that you're going to be doing a lot more. Um, this tends to, I feel like for a lot of you this the vibe that I'm getting is we've had a lot of time to contemplate, to reflect, to be in our own company, um, to heal. For those of you who've been suffering with some uh, minor health problems or anything like that, this is going to be a good week of where we're regaining that freedom again. We're regaining... Um, that i guess confidence for some of you guys as well there is going to be a lot of busy times ahead for you guys this uh need for introspection is kind of completed i feel like i want to tick a box here this task um to spend some time alone to think logically to uh test to kind of um it feels like a trial and error within yourself here pisces you know you've taken some time out to discover what it is that you needed what was missing uh again if you have been hurt in certain situations and certain endings that have happened in your life you're moving away from it uh, you're thinking more logically you've held your emotions which is nice as well you've learned how to balance both of those and now moving into this week you're finally able to be free and to do things that you um you always wanted to do but this time there is no set back with whatever you have had to sort out right there was a problem there was a situation that would have gotten your way um, but now that you've taken time out to address it, to address a person, to address a situation, to address your emotions, Pisces, now within this week, you are going to be able to explore. A lot of you could be having spontaneous trips. Some of you could be going or attending to any social gatherings, any parties. Um, but most importantly, this is really a good time of you finding happiness and you seeking what it takes uh, to find that happiness, you know, going down a specific route. Now, I do see a lot of success coming up for you guys. I do feel as though um, we're balanced now. We understand that there's both good and bad and it feels like Pisces, something was going really well and then something happened and it kind of made you kind of, I feel like doing this, like it was unexpected. You didn't know where this came from or how this happened or where this even, yeah, where this came from. Um, then it kind of delayed a part of your routine. It's weird. It's delayed something here and you've had to postpone something or again, um, it's really strange anyways within this week you can kind of get back to what it was that you wanted to do um and continue to uh, go along this route of this project of this plan uh traveling as well for some of you as well which feels really nice um anything else higher learning if any of you are going into any other higher education or any new exams and stuff like that this feels really good and i would actually encourage you around this week to uh to get yourself into um, any kind of learning, any whether it's something small like a language, I say small, it's hard to learn a language, whether it's learning a language or whether it's learning something completely new that might actually help you in your career, I actually do see a lot of success in that area too. Anyways, let's see what's going on for you, Pisces, let's see what's going on for you. For the week, here we go, we have Scorpio coming up here, but this is also you here, Pisces, with the King of Cups, about balancing your emotions here, learning how to not kind of get overwhelmed by certain things, let's just clarify we have these well there we go some of you this is really good for love now love has been coming up for a lot of you guys um especially because we have the empress here we have like the three of wands and we have the hierophant there is love coming for you guys um there is almost like a new stage in terms of relationships for those of you who are dealing with someone already for those of you who are single and have no one around you this is really about you manifesting in a divine very divine because we have the empress here uh, love interest Look at all these amazing cards coming up. Could be a Taurus, could be a Libra, could be a water sign for that matter. Regardless of whoever this is, I do feel as though this has potential to become something that we can commit to long term, okay? See how it goes. A lot of you guys are really using this time to really invest in yourself, which is nice. Again, this is all coming from the self-love that we seem to be having here. And it's learning how to balance our emotions, which is nice too. Um, we like this. We have the Page of Cups. So I do see... I like this. Do you know what it is? I really like this. 
Um, I really like this kind of dynamic that we're having with people around us, by the way. In, in some ways, I see this as not just about, you know, romantic love. This is also platonic. If you have kids and stuff, a very deep connection coming up here for you, Pisces. If you have any friendships around you, you're definitely teaching other people how to go through what you went through, which is nice. You're inspiring others, uh, teaching others how to overfill their own cup too, which is quite nice. And I think there's a lot of... Um, childlike beauty uh, in this as well whoever you're dealing with um or maybe this is again within yourself i feel like a lot of laughter for you here pisces as well intuitively is coming in for you within this week like something very special is going to be happening around this week which is nice i really like the vibes that are going on here um now with the page of cups this is an offering of love absolutely because it's coming up with the ace of cups so this could be someone younger than you here pisces coming in who is wanting to see where things go with you and i do feel like this could have potential so see how it goes um this also feels like an evolution here. Now, a lot of you are mending the, um, I want to kind of say mending this inner child that you, you know, was wounded from our upbringing where it wasn't listened to, it wasn't nurtured enough, and now you're able to give. And if you have children for yourself, this is a really good time to heal your inner child by allowing it to come out and treating your kids as though, as how you wanted to be treated when you was younger. And how do we do that? Well, we connect with our inner child. How did it feel? Um, so that we make sure that the patterns aren't repeated. Now, a lot of you are going to be really good parents if this is something that you're wanting to do in the future and haven't done just yet. But you are learning how to sort your emotions out. I do see a surprise coming up for you guys within this week. Um, something very unexpected is happening, but it feels really amazing. Yeah, look at all these amazing cards. Pisces, this is an amazing week. Put it in the calendar. Go out and have some fun and communicate and really love yourself and love life because I'm seeing a lot of compliments. I'm seeing people are wanting your time and energy here. I do see something really good coming your way as well that's going to make you feel so happy, so over the moon. Also, in terms of finances, this could be a pay rise, a bonus. This could be, again, being um, uh, noticed. Yeah, there we go. Being noticed. And this is bringing in more income, bringing in more people. We have the Nine of Pentacles here, so a lot of independence, a lot of... Um, uh, this is really about you feeling free again going out into nature there's a lot of natural connection to the divine here uh, but also connection to yourself this is really about you being able to actually spend time alone and embrace it it feels good uh, the ten of pentacles comes in as well and speaks about this is not just about your emotional uh, sorry not emotional this is not just about your own happiness within yourself and stability within yourself but you also impact others the ten of pentacles comes in also stating that for those of you here pisces who are wanting to build this legacy passed down family traditions and stuff like this and you know having this good amount of wealth for a lot of you again i do see a lot of income uh this is definitely something that you can achieve in this lifetime so it feels good okay you're on the right track anything else for pisces for the week ten of wands so we've worked really, really hard for this moment is what I feel like. And, okay. We felt stuck in something. Can we clarify this Eight of Swords? It could be a contract here, guys, for you that you're feeling a little bit stuck in. Again, it could just be a mentality because that's what the Eight of Swords does normally talk about. And with the Five of Cups, it definitely is perspective. Um, I feel as though we've worked really, really hard recently. So the freedom that comes within this week feels amazing uh, because we have the Justice card here as well. Again, finding that balance is really going to help you out. Ending any karmic contracts or any other contracts, physical contracts in your life will also be very important because it feels like you have been carrying way too much. This could be, again, a payback. It feels like if you have been carrying a lot, people People are going to be compensating this here um but with the eight of swords and the five of cups there has been something that didn't work out in your favor and this could be something that you've been carrying for a very long time you felt stuck you felt as if this wasn't ever going to be um resolved the way that it was fair the justice card comes in and says this will be resolved very fairly okay um so in terms of contracts, things have been tough here. That could be divorce, that could be anything. Um, but with the Ten of Wands, you're going to finally be able to release this. And with the Page of Wands on the bottom of the deck here, it feels good. It feels like we're able to actually find this, again, freedom. And we also have the Magician. I forgot to mention the Magician here uh, is here as well. So we have all the tools that we need to push forward. And this is a very clear indicator that Spirit is on your side. 
which is nice. Uh, you are very much aligned, very much connected here. And now that we have this kind of free space, yeah, this feels like a new beginning, a new chapter. We can end the old, that was really hard work. It became, it became kind of like uh, paralyzing for us to continue to do. Now we're gaining freedom, now we're gaining something new. This feels better financially, emotionally, and physically, okay? Um, this fits better in my routine is what I want to say. This feels, this feels better as well. Uh, this feels really nice. Judgment comes in and says we're learning our lessons. We're finally releasing something that needed to be released a while ago. And now we're able to move into the new chapter, which makes perfect sense with that magician card here as well. So you're able to manifest a lot of abundance. And this is what this card represents here. There is a lot of abundance around you and will be around you in this clean slate of yours. And happiness. Look at this new. Um, if any of you, again, are learning anything, new hobbies or new businesses, new ideas, this looks amazing. Pursue it. OK, don't be afraid to be the student. OK, because the teacher was once a student. And this, I think, can actually help you create a course or create something here that will then help other people. Because I think this is why you're here, Pisces. You're here to help others. You're here to teach yourself so that others can learn from you, too. And this is like the beginning of that kind of route. Uh, Page of Pentacles is an apprentice. Ace of Wands feels like a new course or a new thing, a uh, new direction that you guys are going in. And I do think you're going to be able to own it. Pisces, you have a very good ability of being the best at what you're doing. So I, I like this. I do like this. So passion and a uh, good amount of, you know, you're planting the right seeds. This feels amazing. And the <laughs> Ten of Cups. So this is pure happiness coming in for you guys within this week again spending time around family is going to be very important for you because there is just going to be so much loving vibes yeah pisces this feels very straightforward you're balancing yourself and because of this you're attracting in an amazing amount of abundance and less struggle which is amazing Good job. Do I need to say any more? Let's see if I can find anything intuitively. Some of you might be visiting a castle or something like this, or I see like a big building you guys are going to be visiting. It feels like a tourist attraction thing. Um, anything else coming up for you guys? I definitely see balance coming through. Definitely see balance coming in for you. I can see some of you. I don't know why I'm seeing a skateboard. I don't know if you have skated. This is like, I, I just do this when I'm channeling apparently. Anything else, Spirit, you want to share? Some of you, I see beads. You know those beads that hang? Um, I can see this. I don't know if this is like a new... I, I don't know what... I don't know if this... You know ones that you put near a window or something? Or you can put anywhere, really. But I can see those beads. Anything else? No, I don't see anything else. Spending some time um, in nature is going to be very important for you guys, by the way. Um, I, they're also showing me grounding, so mud. Uh, it depends on whether you want to get your hands dirty or not, but mud. Showing me mud is going to be really good for grounding you and take your time with that. Okay, some of you could be gardening, some of you could be planting literal seeds or fruits. I'm seeing fruits like fruit plants or... Um, could even just be herbs. I like this. This looks good. Gardening could be very good for you, Pisces. Because not only is it going to connect you, I feel like I want to get my hands and feet dirty. Like, it feels very... Um, this, is, this is healing, right? It's very healing for you. And I think that's it. Pisces, I love you guys. I wish you all the best. I will see you guys next week. This feels like an amazing week to just kind of... I see pushing forward, I see us starting new things, but most importantly, this is mainly about you being happy and don't feel that you need to have so much going on for this to be a thing. So I see that I want you to take it easy because uh, I think everything's going to happen how it needs to uh, within this week, especially, and go with the flow. I think it's really important. So abundance is yours. It's coming away. I love it. I wish you all the best and I will see you guys next week. Okay.